if you are looking for some support for current affairs if you are a fresher you are a working professional you are a repeater but you want some support for current affairs then i have a program for you um, i have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description you can watch if you are interested right class starts from 14th of february hello all welcome back to current affairs atlas series i'm guna madivanan from offices ias academy friends i'm doing the budget basics as a part of this current affairs headless series program so please watch my uh, previous videos i have made two videos on the budget basics so in this third video i'm going to explain about the components of budget this is very important in 2021 mains also the components of budgets was asked the question goes like this distinguish between capital and revenue budget and explain the components of the each uh, sections of the budget that was the question asked in 2021 uh, mains so in this video i am going to explain about the components so budget you can divide into two components broadly we can divide the budget into two components so one is the revenue component another one is the capital component but in this video i am going to explain only about revenue component the next video i will explain about capital component so this revenue component i can further divide into revenue receipt and revenue expenditure right so the expenditure we are able to understand what does this receipt mean see a uh, receipt is a broader term let us say uh, i am earning 10000 rupees my father is giving me 2000 rupees pocket money i am borrowing another 2000 rupees now when i say receipt that includes everything what i earn what i receive what i borrow it is a broader term okay so when i say income is something which i have earned which i will not give it back but when i say receipt my receipt that means in this moment how much money i have in my pocket i got 10000 through my salary i got 2000 through my borrowing i got 2000 through my uh, i mean my uh, father uh, gave me a pocket money of 2000 so all put together in my pocket i have 14000 rupees now that the entire amount is called as receipt okay so put it simply it is the money i have expenditure is the spending which i do receipt is the money which i receive that much you understand because this revenue component i'm dividing into revenue receipt and revenue expenditure this revenue receipt i'm further dividing it into tax revenue our tax receipt i'm sorry tax receipt and non tax receipt this tax receipt i can further divide into direct tax and indirect tax right so i am dividing the budget into a revenue component and capital component this revenue component is what i am going to discuss today this revenue component i am dividing it into revenue receipt and revenue expenditure and revenue receipt i am dividing it into tax revenue and non tax revenue and tax revenue i am dividing it into direct tax and indirect tax now i'll give you one broader clue to differentiate this revenue and capital component an easy way to differentiate you need not memorize anything if you understand this one difference then you can easily answer the question what is it clue sir see all the one way transactions all the one way transaction will come under revenue component and all the two way transactions will come under the capital component all the one way transactions will come under revenue component and all the two way transactions will come under capital component sir what is what is this one way two way see one way transaction means let's say you are the uh, ias officer i am the government i am giving you salary will you give that money back 
So government is giving salary to the IAS officers. Will the IAS officers give the money back? Don't say that, uh, sir, as an IAS officer, I will do, I'll give my hard work, I'll give my honesty, sincerity. Don't say those stuff. Government is giving you salary. Will you give that salary back? No. Government is giving subsidies to the people. Will the people give that subsidies back? No. You are paying tax to the government. Will the government give the tax money back? No. So all these are one-way transactions. These one-way transactions will come under revenue component. What about the capital component? All the two-way transactions will come under capital component. For example, I am borrowing money. I have to repay. I have given loan. That money will come back to me. I am purchasing a land. I can sell that land. Are you clear? So all these are two-way transactions. So today in this video, we will discuss about the one-way component that is the revenue. So this revenue, I am dividing into revenue receipt, revenue expenditure. That is all one-way receipt will come under revenue receipt. One-way expenditure will go to revenue expenditure. Under revenue receipt, we have tax and non-tax. Under tax, we have direct tax and indirect tax. So example for uh, a direct tax, you can say income tax. Income tax is a direct tax. Example for indirect tax, you can say GST. So all these are you pay tax, government will not give that money back. So one way transaction. Now what about the non-tax receipt? What all will come under the non-tax receipt component? Non-tax receipt. That is not through taxation but through other means government gets one way money. So example, example, fine. Without wearing helmet, you are driving your bike, police catches you, the money, you are going to pay some fine, thousand rupees, whatever you are going to pay fine. That money is a fine amount that government receives. Will the government give that, give that money back to you? Definitely no. Right, so fine. Similarly, fee. You are applying for some license, you have to pay some fee to the government. Will government give that money back? Definitely no. So fine, fee. So I am talking about non-tax receipt, what the government receives, okay. Grants received, grants received, sir what is this grants, how it is different from loans, see loans are borrowings, you are borrowing money, you have to give it back, I borrow 1000 rupees from you, I have to give it back, right, so that is loan. What is grant? Grant is something like a gift. I am giving you a gift. Will you give that gift back to me? Definitely no. So uh, let's say our uh, um, president uh, is giving grants to some other country or some other country is giving grants to our country. We will not give it that back. So grants are something like gifts. So when India is receiving some grant, when India is receiving some grants, India is not going to give it back. When I say India here, I am talking about the government. When government is receiving some grants, government is not going to give it back. So grants received. Similarly, interest received. Interest received. So what is this interest received, sir? Let's take an example. Now, the central government, central government is giving some loan. Central government is giving some loan. I am the one who has borrowed loan from central government, assume. So, Guna has borrowed money from central government and Guna has to give that loan back. Yes or no? Guna is borrowing money from central government. Guna is borrowing money from central government. That money, Guna will give it back to central government. So, there is two-way transaction. So, it will not come under revenue component. Loans will not come under revenue component. But for the money borrowed, Guna will regularly pay interest. Yes or no? For the money borrowed, Guna will regularly pay interest to the government. I will be paying interest to the government. So, government will receive that interest. Will government give that money back? Will government give that interest back? Definitely no. See, for example, central government is giving um, a loan. Central government is giving loan to, uh, let's take Kerala government. So, Kerala government has borrowed money from central government. The Kerala government has borrowed money 
Kerala government has to give it back. That two-way transaction will, whenever you find this two-way transaction, that is going to come under capital component. Now forget about that. Now every month, Kerala government, Kerala government has to pay interest to the central government, right? For the borrowing, interest has to be paid. Will central government give that money back? Definitely no. So Kerala, I am the central government. You are the Kerala government. You are going to give me interest every month. Will I give that money back? Definitely no. So that is a one-way transaction. So whatever interest received by the government that comes under non-tax, non-tax receipt. Similarly, profits. Similarly, profits. Profits earned by the PSUs. Profits earned by the public sector enterprises that will also be part of one-way receipt for the government. One-way receipt for the government. See, I will give you an uh, easy example. Um, Guna is buying a flat. So, Guna is buying a property. He is buying a property. Guna is buying a house. Guna is buying a house. See, Guna is buying a house. Guna can sell that house also. Guna can sell that house also. So, Guna is buying a house. Guna can sell that house. That is two-way transaction. So, buying and selling will go for capital component. Buying and selling will go for capital component. Remember, I buy a house. I can sell that house. I buy a land. I can sell that land. Okay, all those will go as a part of the capital component, but I am not talking about that. Now, Guna has purchased this property. Guna has purchased this property. Now, I am giving this property for rent. So, every month, I am going to get 10,000 rupees rent from this property. My tenant is going to give me 10,000 rupees rent. So, I receive, I receive 10,000 rupees rent. I receive profit. Will I give that profit back? Whatever profit I receive, will I give that profit back? See, I buy a land, I am selling a land. That is capital component. But every month I receive rent. Every month I receive rent. That is a profit. That is a profit for my investment. I'll give you another example. I'll give you another example. Let's take a car. Guna is buying a car. Guna is buying a car. Okay. Now this car, I am getting it for 10 lakh rupees. I am selling it maybe after 4 or 5 years. I am selling it for 6 lakh rupees. That is okay. There is depreciation. Everything is okay. So I am purchasing it for, I have purchased it for 10 lakhs. I am selling it for 6 lakhs. I purchased, I am selling it. That is two-way transaction that is going to be part of capital component but now assume I am using this car as a taxi I am attaching my car with Ola, Uber I am giving this car for travel purposes so as a taxi this car is going to get me some every month let's say I am earning 25,000 rupees from this taxi only the taxi goes for uh, travel purposes tour purposes so every month I get 25,000 assume so that is my profit I buy a car, I can sell that car, two-way transaction. But what about the profit? In between, I get profits, right? That profit, that profit will be brought under, that will be brought under revenue component, right? I hope you are able to get some clarity on this one-way transaction. Be clear with this one-way transaction, that will be very useful. Now tell me what all will come under revenue expenditure it is easy now. Government spends that money, but government will not get that money back. For example, government pays salary. Government gives you salary, you will not give that back. Government gives subsidies. Government will give subsidy for you, you will not give that back. Right? Uh, grants given. Grants given. See, here we saw grants received. When government receives the grants, that is non-tax receipt. But when government, Indian government can give the grant, when government gives the grant, that is revenue expenditure, right? That is revenue one way expenditure. Similarly, interest paid. Interest paid. See here I mentioned about interest received. 
But here I am talking about interest paid. If central government has borrowed money, central government has to pay interest every month. So that interest paid, right? So all these are examples of revenue expenditure, right? Salary, subsidies, grants given, interest paid, non-tax receipts, fine, fee, right? Grants received, interest received, profits and tax receipts. See, understand the basic, understand the basic. The revenue budget will have one-way transactions. The capital budget will have two-way transactions. If you understand this simple clue, you can easily understand both the components. So here I have explained in detail about the revenue component. Now you would have got some idea about the capital component as well. But however, I will make a separate video on the capital component. These two understandings are very much important. Why it is very much important? Only with these two understandings, we can understand deficits. What is budget deficit? What is fiscal deficit? What is revenue deficit? What is the effective revenue deficit? What is primary deficit? So in the next video, I will explain about the capital component. Then in the coming videos, we will discuss about the deficits as well. I hope the topic was useful. So friends, I hope you all know that I am making strategy videos. right? Please watch those videos as well. It will be very useful for your preparation. I will see you in uh, another video. Until then, bye. Take care.